give you guys a rundown of what's gonna happen today or what has already happened today. You know what? I'm gonna start from when I woke up this morning. I woke up pretty early and... <laughs> Wait, that's literally a lie. I literally just lied to you guys. I did not wake up early today. I tried to. I set like five alarms from 5 a.m. until probably like eight o'clock and I didn't wake up until nine o'clock. And then I just used that hour between nine o'clock and 10 to do literally nothing, even though I had a thousand things to do today. So I did nothing for a little bit. And then I picked my sister up from the train station. Oh, and then I went to Duncan's and then I went to an antique shop and I looked around. It was really fun. <laughs> The weather said that it was not supposed to be this hot out and that it was going to rain. I went out earlier today. I went out around like 10 o'clock to pick my sister up from the train station <laughs> and it was not this hot out and it literally looked like it was going to rain. We're just gonna have to deal with it. We're gonna drive with the AC literally blasting. I'm going to an antique shop and we're gonna look for some cool stuff. I low -key shouldn't be going to the antique store because I have so much to do today. And I found that when I do write lists, nothing ever gets done. So I kind of made a mental note and still nothing has got done. I don't know how it's going to go because I have to go to Boston later today. Um, yeah, let's go to the antique store. Okay, so my car is in the shop right now. I have to go down and pick it up. I've been using my sister's car. And after I pick it up, I think I'll have like an hour or two before I have to leave to go to Boston for a birthday party. I'm really excited. One of my good friends just turned 20. So that will be an exciting little party. Earlier today, I went to the antique shop even though I had like a thousand other things to do. Did I do them? <laughs> no. One of them was to clean my room. Yeah, that didn't happen either. I need to clean my room, so let's do that. Is it on? Oh, true, true, true. True, true, true. true. Do you want ham? Yeah, I have some ham. I have just ham. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is Hippa, and this is Char driving. You're on Char's channel, and Tegan is back here. Let me get a piece of ham. Okay, we're en route to Virginia's birthday bash at the Esplanade in Boston. Oh, don't run this lady over. Her's driving. She just got her car back, so we're gonna throw a party for that too. Pass the camera to Teeks. Vlog squad, David Dobrik. I don't really have anything to say. Actually, I think it's almost one. Oh my god, I literally have work soon. I feel like I told you guys this before. Let me start from the beginning. Last year, there was this weird guy at the gym. He was older, and I'm pretty sure he has like kids. He's like 30. But I was doing workout wrong, as usual. He had come over to me and was like, yo, you're like doing this wrong. I thought he was just being nice. And he was being nice, but like, I didn't, I didn't get creepy vibes at first. And then he was like asking me questions about my life. And I was like, yo, I thought you were just teaching me about the gym, my own proper form or whatever. And then I started to get creepy vibes. He was like, oh, how old are you? Oh, like I just got out of high school, whatever. And he was like, oh, then can I get your snap? And I was like, oh, I don't use Snapchat. Then he asked for my Instagram. I don't know why I gave him my Instagram. I just felt so uncomfortable. I felt like kind of forced to. It was just like an awkward situation. And so I gave him my Instagram and I never, I'm private, so I never accepted his follow. But he kept on requesting me like crazy that summer. Like, oh my god, I can't get this earring on. He kept on requesting me. I said that five times, but he kept on requesting me last summer. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not accepting. And it was always so awkward whenever I went to the gym. I forgot to tell this part. He was telling me about like, oh, how he did personal training. And I was like, <laughs> cool, like whatever. And the guy at the gym that works at the gym was like, um, you can't do that here. You have to do it through 
the gym that I go to. The guy got so mad. The guy that was talking to me, like asking for my Snapchat and stuff. He was like, this is an A and B conversation. Like we did not include you in this conversation at all. And the guy was like, yeah, I know. But like I overheard you guys talking about personal training. I just want to let you know. And he was like, nah, you can't do that. You can't just butt into a conversation like that, which is like true and not true. Like in that situation, I was glad that this guy butted in because I really wanted to get away. And it was just so awkward because I was just standing there like, Anyways, he had asked for my Instagram and he kept on requesting all summer. It was always so awkward when I went to the gym because he was always there whenever I went and he literally still is. It's always awkward because it's like, I know you know who I am because we talk, but like, I just ignore him, but he always looks at me. He's literally like 30 and has kids and um, it's just really uncomfortable because I see him literally like every day. Today I didn't though because I woke up really late. Like I told you guys, I went to bed at, I think I went to bed at like two last night. Um, because I got home at 1 and then I stayed up on the phone. <sighs> what a bad habit that I should not be continuing. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. I'm glad I didn't see him this morning. I feel like he does this to like every girl that goes to the gym. And it's just like really uncomfortable. I got back from the gym a while ago. But I was talking to my brother and my dad. And then I took a shower and now I'm going to go eat. And I'm going to do some email work. Oh my god. I literally have ethics homework due. So we're kind of busy and we're kind of on a time crunch, which is literally every day. And I don't get any of it done today. I'm getting it done because I'm not getting a bad grade in my class. Time has been literally going by so fast. I don't remember the last time I talked to you, but right now it's 2.30. I haven't done my ethics homework. I have marketing homework also due tomorrow. I don't know, I feel like that's enough time to do my marketing homework. In my ethics, I just have to get up early, but the thing is my shift tonight ends at 12. So we're in a little bit of a pickle. Ethics homework now. Oh my god, I have to leave in like an hour and a half. Is it? 2.30, 3.30. Okay, maybe I have... Okay, I'm crazy. I'm actually not crazy. I'm just forgetful. I feel like I didn't really tell you guys about my classes this summer. So I'm taking principles of marketing in ethical reasoning. Literally the death of me. I decided to take summer classes because I transferred from art school and none of my credits transferred over So I'm a semester behind but I'd like to not be a semester behind So I'm taking two extra classes this summer so I don't stress myself out by taking six classes each semester going forward <laughs> I just submitted my ethics assignment. Thank God it's 3.37. So I have about 45 minutes to just get ready, pack my bag before I head off to the city for work. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna head over to Boston. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am low-key not feeling too hot. I'm praying this will solve the issue, but I also know that I'm not going to sleep tonight because I got that and it's like 3 o'clock. Yeah, I'm always setting myself up for failure, which is awesome. I don't know why, lately I've kind of just been out of it, I guess. I honestly think it's because I haven't been journaling that much lately. Since I started having some issues with school around March, I kind of fell out of it. That's when I was going back and forth between home and school. I don't know, I just kind of stopped journaling because it was really hectic during that time and I had a lot going on. And I recently journaled for the first time since March last week. I haven't gotten into the routine of journaling. When I journal, my I definitely feel a lot better about myself. I get all of my thoughts and my emotions written down. It also helps me understand myself a lot more. I just think that things have gone downhill since... I stopped journaling and I really need to get back into my healthy habits like waking up early, going to the gym, journaling, stretching. All four of those things have helped me so much. Things just haven't really been the same since I stopped prioritizing my healthy habits. Every time I wake up in the morning, I kind of just go straight from my phone, straight to my laptop, checking emails, seeing who's trying to reach out to me, seeing what other people are doing, comparing myself to people online. And it's just really not healthy. I've been trying to get myself into the habit of things. And I feel like one of the reasons it hasn't worked is because I'm always pushing it off. I'm not taking the time to care for myself. Also don't mind my nails. I'm doing like product videos. These are stick-ons. My nails are so bad underneath of these. So that's why I'm wearing these. I don't really like them that much, but they're the only ones that I have. Now that we're done expressing our thoughts and feelings, I'm going to start doing what I was supposed to be doing today. I try
control on myself for something Hello everybody, I'm in Boston right now with Kevin, but he doesn't want to be in the video. We're gonna go get breakfast at Finagle Bagel and then bike to Color Tech because I have some film to drop off for one of my friends. We're developing these at Color Tech, so let's go to Finagle Bagel. It would be light, sailing made of glass, counter space, an ashtray for when grandma comes. I'm in Chinatown right now. I didn't even realize that there was a little, little festival going on. Um, so we're gonna go check it out. I could settle down. Kevin and I just did a test and we won and we got two free COVID tests and then two Rubik's cubes. I'm going to Color Check right now. We just came back from Chinatown. There's a little festival going on, but I'm dropping off Hiba's film. She has two disposables that I need to get developed. Hello. Okay, so we ordered Duncan's online. Kevin's going in to get it, but I just wanted to update you guys on what has happened in the last hour. I went to Boston early this morning. We were kind of just waiting for H&M to open because I have work at 3 and I did not bring any of my work clothes with me, which was not really smart because it cost me $50 to get an Oxford and then dress pants. <laughs> That's low-key a lot. Oh, Kevin's coming with our coffee. We just went to Boston and we rode bikes and we checked out the coffee market. Um, it was fun. I forget what I ordered. Cold Brew 3 Splenda's Almond Milk Less Ice. Not light ice, less ice. When they gave it to me last time, I was like, Haha, why is it so dark? Like, did you put almond milk in it? Yes. And the lady had told me, yeah, like I did put almond milk in it. I felt bad for second guessing her skills. Low key, I wasn't accusing her of lying. They didn't put enough almond milk, no. Boston right now taking care of these two beautiful little kitties. Yeah, I'm just really excited to be here taking care of these cats. I'm taking care of them until tomorrow night because tomorrow night, tomorrow's the 4th of July, so I'm staying over tonight. So last night I worked from 3 until I think I got back at like 12 a.m. So that was a scoop. There wasn't much going on there besides me serving. I feel like I told you before, but I'm event staff, so I basically just like, oh, they are going at it. Wanna play? I wish I had a laser for them. Woo! Woo! Look! Woo! This is Milo. You wanna get down? I hope he likes me. And this one is Mickey. And they're brothers. They're from the same litter. I don't know how many weeks old they are. I do know that they're cats. Like, that was stupid. Why did I say that? You guys want some treats? Who wants to sit? No one wants to sit. I have a photo shoot planned at three. I'm gonna go do that. One of my friends from back home. I'm gonna go back home. Girl, I do not live here. I literally live at home. One of my friends is taking the train from home here and we're gonna hang out and do that shoot with this girl that I met at an event. After we had the photo shoot, Hippa is sleeping over here and then we are driving home tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 4th of July and I don't really wanna be here for the 4th of July just in case anything happens you never know what can happen especially on holidays and where there's big crowds of people so i just want to play it safe <laughs> 